ago, the idea came to go back on the road with Curved Air and for one reason or another the um, the other original members apart from Florian here yeah, I... you know didn't choose to stay you know on the road and do lots of touring which which it requires mm -hmm. to bring I mean Curved Air's got such a wonderful um, um, catalogue of music to bring to people mm. <laughs> Throughout the 70s, it was topping the charts in the you know, the music music magazines and mm -hmm. you know, the equivalent of, of all these shows that they have now. So how natural did it feel then to kind of put <coughs> it together? Well, it's been uh, it's been good fun after such a long time for me. Suddenly, sort of thing after what 30 years. Mm. Um, but it's been good. We all get on. Pretty well, don't we? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We laugh a lot. Yeah. Um, it's been good fun, really. So, so, what about the music then? Is it um, the same as before, or have you got a mix of old and new? Or how how do you decide what you're going to do with the music? At the moment, we're doing our favourite songs from all that has been recorded so far, but we're just about to start um, recording a new album. And we're doing a live, um, a live recording of this October tour. And uh, putting out, putting together the best of that, so that there'll be some a record of of, of this band. Mm -hmm. I mean, to this this uh, on violin is Paul Sax, mm -hmm. and on keyboards is Robert Norton. I was touring with my own material, and I wanted some wonderful players, and so you know I came across these people, and we worked together for five or six years then. And so when we needed to. You know, fill the the violin place and the the, the keyboards. They both were the perfect people to to recreate the um, the old curved air sound, sound. and all, it, mm, and sure. also and also bring it forward now with with new writing. We've got the yeah. you know the right ingredients, the right sort of talent. To who do who that. does the new writing? We're going to do it all together. We all do it together. Yeah. Because I was reading up about it and um, it was saying that Curved Air was one of the first bands uh, to feature a violin. Yes. Um, so... It was, it actually, it was a great thing to be playing with Curved Air now because I learned violin from the time I was five. My father was a famous violin player and I, uh, when I was 12 I went to the Hudi Menuhin School. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I didn't like playing violin at all. 
I didn't like it. When I was, I, I then got expelled from the uni venue in school for being bad. And uh, I was, you know, bad. I know it's hard for you to believe it now. But, uh, <laughs> and I'd stopped playing for six or seven years. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I started playing again was because I heard curved air. And I heard electric violin and I thought, yes, now that, that is interesting. That, uh, I, would, I would like to play music like that. And here I am. So here so, you are. <laughs> so it was a journey, but here I am. I should uh, um, in, yeah. introduce the other two. This is Kit Kit Morgan, Morgan on guitar, who, who is fan fantastic. Both Kit and Chris, and I'm pointing you out here, it's like yeah. sort of, it just sort of <laughs> delights in my in, in my toy shop here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you, they, you were both working with Daryl before, that's how you came. I was working with Chris. Chris was working with Daryl. Yes. Yes. Oh, I worked with Daryl about 10 years ago. Because yes. he lives in the West Country. He plays bass. He's looking to put a band together to play his own material. Mm -hmm. And I was recommended by the guitarist he booked. So I worked with Daryl for two or three years. Mm -hmm. So when Curve Day reformed, he just rang me up and said, I knew I could play. I knew I'd be able to learn the material. And he asked me if I was interested in and my name put forward. Right. And, and in the end, I was, I was the person that they, they chose to use. So how do you feel then now, kind of being together with everybody on tour? Uh, it's, Great. I mean, I've, there were so many different bass players in the previous band yeah. that I've got lots of different songs to learn, but also three or four different styles of player to cover. Mm -hmm. So different songs have different types of bass style on it, and different sounds and different techniques. Yeah. I've got to try and cover all those and put a bit of myself in as well. Good. So it's quite hard work, but it's, it's, it's a challenge. You're enjoying that? Yeah, yeah very much. How does it feel, Canal, doing this as a second time? Do you? Do you feel different about it? Do you value it more, or does it feel completely different than when different. you were up Different for me. Because <clears throat> when I did it before I was 19, it's very different from uh, when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's just a different, just more fun, really, I think. Do you think? Do you feel it's more fun now? Yeah, in a way, yeah. Because when you're 19, you don't sort of, you know, a lot of things bother you. Like doing this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't and matter. We are having a good time doing it though. It's more than yeah. and just it's, a job. It's something special. You're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. That's yeah. Great. I find that the, the, the material is... a surprise after so long. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we went to Tokyo as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, that's right. You know, which is pretty good. You know, it might never have gone there. really good because you've got so many people all in one place. Mm. And when we did, did, did Glastonbury there was just, the, the, the tent was completely full and yet there were, and there were as many people outside the tent as so inside the tent yeah. and they were having to let people, one person in, and as, in, one person out to let one person in. Yeah. And we have a, you know, such a fine, brilliant band who play the music better than they've ever heard it before. Oh yeah. yeah, it is. It's got a great energy. It's not yeah. no way. It's just going through the paces and the old paces or anything like that. It's got a really good energy to, the, to yeah. this line. I think we genuinely love playing together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what are the plans for the future? Yes, live think. album from this tour, new album <coughs> next year. World yeah. domination by 2012. Yeah. <laughs> That's personal. Yes. Well, oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, right. Okay.